In this video, I want to do two examples of what's called factoring by grouping. And typically, I start thinking about factoring by grouping when I see a polynomial that has four terms. So notice both, both of our examples, we have four terms in here. And you may have to rearrange things around a little bit, but the basic idea is you look at the first two terms, and then you look at the last two terms. So for the first two terms, I think, what's the greatest common factor? Well, here I have a 2 and a 7, so there's not really a good number to factor out. Uh, we've got x cubed and x squared. We could factor out an x squared there. And then I think, well, what would I need in parentheses to get the 2x cubed plus 7x squared? Well, 2x uh, times x squared would give me 2x cubed. And then we would need a positive 7 to get our 7x squared. In our last two terms, notice, again, there's really nothing to factor out. Here I am going to factor out the positive 1. And the only reason I didn't do it on the first one is just because I recognized we would be able to factor out something, the x squared. If, if the only thing that you can factor out is the 1, then I'll go ahead and do it just like we are in this example. And now this is where... Uh, this is kind of the, the thing to recognize, is notice that the thing in the parentheses, in both sets of parentheses, is the same. You have a 2x plus 7 and a 2x plus 7. The way this factors is what you do is you take the stuff out front, the x squared plus 1. So you take the stuff out front and stick it in one set of parentheses. And then whatever that common thing is, you just stick that in another set of parentheses, and now it's factored. And again, the reason that we can go from, you know, the second step to this third step, you know, imagine if the, the positive 1 wasn't there. Well, to expand this out, what would you have to do? You would have to multiply x squared times all of that, which is what the first part says. And then after that, well, you would have to distribute the positive 1 to all that stuff, which is what the, uh, you know, the second part of the middle line says. So, you know, Things like this you don't want to just memorize. Convince yourself, you know, that, that, that makes sense to do that algebraically. All right, so let's look at our other example here. Uh, again, same procedure. I'm going to look at the first two terms. So I think I've got a, a positive 10 and a positive 2 as coefficients. I'll factor out the 2. The first term has an x squared. The second term has an x to the first. So that means I can factor out x to the first. And the second term has a y, but the first one doesn't, so I think we factored out everything we can. So 2x times 5x would give me 10x squared. And then 2x times, I guess we would just need positive y uh, to get the 2xy. And again, now I'm going to do the same thing with the third and fourth terms. I think, well, there's a 15 and a positive 3. Well, that means I could factor out the positive 3. I've got an x, but no x's in the other one, so we can't really factor out any x's. But I do have a y and a y squared, so I can factor out a y to the first. And then I think, okay, well, 3 times what is 15? I guess we would need a 5. We didn't factor out the x, so I would still need that. And 3y times positive y would give me 3y squared. So again, you know... We've got the same thing in the parentheses. So again, that means we can rewrite this as the stuff out front, which is 2x plus 3, uh, plus 3y, excuse me. And then we'll stick the other, the common factor, this 5x plus y right next to it. And now we factored it. So again, four terms. Immediately now, I've done so many, I just start thinking about factoring by grouping when I see these types of things. And it's actually interesting. You can even turn, you know, other problems. For example, quadratic uh, quadratic expressions that only have three terms. You can actually manipulate those and turn them into factoring by grouping problems. So that's one reason that, that this is important. Just kind of the whole process. So, all right. Anyways, I hope these examples make some sense and help you out out there.